Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is your host with the most white boy 7 Street. Welcome to a kill confirmed modern warfare 3 ground war gameplay. We're gonna get 29 kills and only two deaths. That's a 14 and a half kill death ratio. And if I were to describe this gameplay in one word, it would be wings of redemption. We're gonna start off with a triple kill right here. And to be completely transparent with you guys, I really don't leave this general area area for the next like five minutes i do my best to stay alive and i had the time of my life just camping my ass off and going for the nuke basically and working on my kill streak putting these bouncing beddies down basically just defending this bridge and protecting my team from flanks so this gun is awesome one shot headshots very important to take your time and line up those upper body shots it's really quality over quantity Get the cluster mine immediately he's got to pay some dividends that's got to really help protect this bridge you see me spamming these decoy grenades every time that yellow text pops up i get a little score streak and i'm very close to my sentry gun right now and it's going to be very important for us to get a sentry gun the funny thing about this kill streak is it's been in the game since the original modern warfare 2 and it's always been trash for like the last 13 years sentry guns never were picked like no one would ever in their right mind pick a sentry gun maybe one year they were good but i actually think this year is the year to go all in and invest in sentry gun stock because man the sentry guns really really good especially for the amount of score streak the bang for your buck that you get is incredible value when it comes to the sentry gun so oh we could that's why i don't confirm any kills i almost died right there that's why i stay in the back and just spam these uh decoy grenades i can kind of see why people play like this because i feel like a rat and i feel disgusting but in like a good kind of creepy way like uncle kind of vibe i don't know like i really like doing this putting down the sentry gun in a perfect position technically my work here is done i should go to one of the other bridges and hold it down but speaking of score streak there's one thing that i wish that would happen when it comes to score streak in this game and i wish the kill streaks would count towards the nuke like it did in the original modern warfare 2 if they want to try to recapture that og vibe that would be one thing i would love to see and they need to make it so it's a 25 kill streak in the sense that it's a kill streak so it replaces one of your three spots like i just got the wilson by shooting down that uav that's why you have to be a team player it's 22 to 22 right now very close game but i got the wilson in my back pocket and the sentry gun is beginning to cook you know i'm just gonna throw these decoy grenades by the sentry gun and maybe the people will try to come towards it one other thing i would like to see when it comes to score streaks i wish i could get a second and a third pair of kill streaks in the same life i wish i could get another cluster mine right now i wish i could have something to work for my only incentive i guess is the nuke but technically i should probably try to respawn and work on my second streak just to you know help you know get more kills kill streaks get kills uh more effective than me uh you know i'm just back here getting score streak <laughs> the kill streaks are gonna get the kills Rewatching this gameplay i think i can alter my score streak strategy to utilize a field upgrade a little bit more effectively because i dropped two munition boxes this game and neither of them have been hit if someone does resupply from your team you get 25 uh score streak but I could use a few other field upgrades that help get score streak, like you can spot them with the drone, but then you're away from your controller, and that's how I die in the Wilson. Uh, surprise, surprise. Now, uh, Sentry Gun's doing pretty good. Everything's going off, and I'm just, uh, I'm just back here uh, reaping the benefits, collecting dividends. A little scary situation. I see him on the mini map. What are we going to do? We're going to stay alive, or are we going to push for the objective okay that's that's far enough let's go back to our comfort zone run now if you're an og fan of call of duty you are familiar with the first modern warfare 3 having the specialist perk package where instead of getting kills 
or streaks, you get perks for every uh, two kills that you get. Then at seven kills, you get basically all the perks in your superhero, your super agile, and you're basically a Modern Warfare 3 character now. Uh, but you're like a time traveler in that sense. That's kind of crazy. Anyways, yeah, the specialist package wouldn't really work in this game because they base it on clothing. Like, imagine having like 10 different types of gloves on. That would make no sense whatsoever. Like an OJ, like courtroom. Thankfully, there's no chicken in this cage anymore. In the remastered map, uh, I would have killed it right there. Wilson going straight to the mansion, clearing it out. This guy's trying to hide behind the vehicle. Boom, would have got the kill. Someone else uh, ex uh, killed him somehow. Now, I'm looking at my fuel. Uh, can I stay still and my fuel doesn't get wasted? Or is that just a metaphor for time? Because I would just camp in one spot and be in the Wilson all day. Uh, because, unfortunately, I mean, that's one of the problems. Like, I'm thinking about my field upgrade. Maybe I can use one of those recon drones. But then I'm going to be in the Wilson and then, uh, or, the, you know, on the iPad, whatever, and then end up dying. Stop watching the bridge for two seconds and the spawns freaking flip. I, I don't know whose responsibility that was. I love the new Modern Warfare 2 remaster maps, Modern Warfare 3 maps. I don't know what you call these things. But there's so many different lines of sights from the OG game. Even in this particular bar, I think there's a few little windows that you can look out that you couldn't before. And there's just a few little peak spots to counter uh, people camping like me. And I almost got shot right there. I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the comments down below. But I really like Modern Warfare 3. I think you can play it a whole bunch of different ways. Yesterday, I used a riot shield, went 17 and 1. Today, I'm camping and i got a 14 kill death ratio uh the uh, day before that i was playing ground war dodge that sniper shot one shot headshot super satisfying i feel like the kills feel really good I, that second shot was a sign for me to get on out of there and i'm trying to preserve this 14 kill death ratio so there's a lot of different ways to play it and i think it's pretty good i, I like how the maps look i like how they play i like how they feel Kill streaks are okay. I think they have some work to do. For some reason to me, it doesn't feel like there's a lot of options for the kill streaks. I know they have limited resources in their vault. Like they could get the load star from you know Black Ops 2. That's a really fun kill streak to use. But I feel it's like some of the recent kill streaks that they added are like kind of low tier and like AI, like some kind of drone or the dog or something like that. But this is what I'm talking about. The maps are a little bit different you couldn't really mantle up here before and it was like limited it was more like a 2d field of play now it's kind of like a three-dimensional field of play maybe that's what they were trying to do with the boost jumping and maybe there's a way to do it right low-key i think i'm kind of ready for another like boost jumping or i kind of miss the grappling gun specifically but let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about that guys Thank you so much for watching my camping gameplay. Very action-packed, very exciting. Hope you like this gun. I have the uh, default mag. It came with a 20-round mag. I'm kind of, I don't know. I, I kind of want the 20-round mag. I don't feel like the extra attachment does enough compared to the uh, amount of reloading I'm doing. It's kind of like a quality of life thing. So, guys, subscribe, like. Thank you guys for watching so much. Check out my socials. Links in the description. Thank you so much for watching this kill confirmed. Rundown. Ground war gameplay. 29 kills. 2 deaths.